In our first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, we hear the words, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. The person who trusts in the Lord is blessed because God is in the center of his life and he has nothing to fear. However, trusting a God can be hard sometimes, especially in moments where the difficulties of life catch us by surprise. This is when we must exercise trust in the Lord. You might ask me, sister, I want to trust in God, but how? I will mention two practical ways to grow in trust. Number one, remember the marvels the Lord has done in your life. Look back upon the chapters of your life story and see how he has led you thus far. You will notice a pattern of his goodness and love. If he's been good and faithful in the past, he will continue to do so in the future. His love is unchanging. The second way we can grow in trust is surrender. Actively take whatever it is that is concerning you or whatever is troublesome to you and let it go. Give it all to him. Years ago, before I entered the convent, I participated in a ballroom dancing class. The instructor asked for a volunteer to help him teach everyone how to waltz. The truth is, I'm not a good dancer. As the music began, I heard him say, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Just let go. I completely let go and followed his lead. We glided about the room and danced beautifully. This was made possible by his superior skill shining forth and by my letting go. God wants us to trust in him and let go. As we enter into this new week, it would be good to consider, are there any areas in my life that I need to trust in God more? Things that are troubling my heart that I need to let go of and surrender to him? Trust in him, share your heart with him. He is listening, God bless you.